Uh, hey guys, so the next little frame-by-frame -frame animation we're going to be doing is a brick falling. So I already have a project open, but I'm going to uh, make a new project here. And I'm going to call this brick fall. I just give something to make it, you know, separate from the other one. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first get my elements in. So I've got three things I want to get. I get this GIF, and you can kind of see how this thing is supposed to fall. And we're basically just going to copy it frame by frame. And we've got this scene here, which is just a 1080p uh, version of it, which we'll bring in later. And we have this brick. Um, so essentially, the brick GIF and the brick scene are you know, way different in size. So I'm going to bring in the GIF, uh, the GIF first, just to kind of size up the frame rate and size up the whole thing, just so I can see everything a little bit easier. And uh, I'm going to bring my brick scene in. And I'm going to reduce its size. I just I know this already, but I'm going to reduce its size to about uh, 8%. And I'm going to see if I can't pull the opacity down slightly and just kind of bring it up to where it fits in with the scene behind it. So once again, about 8%. And I've got it at 153.2 by, so like 150 by 90, right? So just somewhere around that area there. Just so the corner and the bottom kind of match up. So I'll bring in my brick PNG. This is what we're going to animate. I'll reduce its size to about, um, let's say, looks about right, about 8% again. And we'll uh, just sort of drag this up to be in line with the brick. I think about once. Yeah, maybe we're like 10%. And once again, I'm just going to make the scene invisible for now, and I'll pull the opacity for the brick down a bit just so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. All right, so I'll, I'll shrink this down a little bit more. I'll pull it up a little bit. Again, we want this to be roughly the same height because what's, what's really the name of the game here is just making sure that it sticks within the same rotation sort of uh, space. So it, it's a little bit different in terms of the angle. I think I put it like a 45 degree angle here. They use like a trimetric kind of uh, perspective, which is, you know, whatever. Um, okay, so we need position, we need scale, we need rotation, and we need anchor point all uh, affected. So anchor point's basically going to give us how it's going to rotate here. Um, so here we go. Let's just go ahead and start off with the anchor point. I want the anchor point to be dragged to this corner over here because this rocks back on this back edge when it sort of wobbles before it falls. So when I hover over here, two things pop up, either a little circle, a little white circle, or this little compass rose. The compass rose is what you want because the compass rose is moving the anchor point. If I were to move this, this dot right here, but sometimes if you grab the dot, what you're grabbing is actually the keyframe. But we want to make sure that we're grabbing the, the little compass rose. We want to make sure we're grabbing the anchor point, dragging it over to this back corner. So we move to the next keyframe here. I'm going to also put a keyframe for my position here. It's all there. All right. Uh, we're just going to rock it backwards. And in between each one, so you see, we want to make sure everything's parallel here. Uh, in I'm, I'm going to make sure I have a little position keyframe there as well. And um, the scale doesn't really matter because we're not going to change the scale. All right, so I'll go forward one. It rocks back even more. So let me get my position here. My motion. And I'll just sort of click it once to get the position keyframe in. All right. We'll rock it forward again. Make sure it's all even. So this is it's wobbling. It wobbles forward, wobbles back, wobbles forward. Pull it forward one more time. Pull it forward. All right. Again. Pull it forward. And I'm going to make sure I have a keyframe for my position locked in just so it doesn't drift off as we're, as we're doing this. So, and then over here, uh, I'm going to rotate it. And I want to say move it forward, move it up a little bit here. Because we want to make sure it's sort of sticking around. Sticks in the same. So this is where it's, it's sort of launching off, as it were. All right. So let's take a look at this. So here we go. We go. We wobble f back, forward, and then we sort of launch off. And now for this next one, we'll just pull this forward, and we'll also bring it up. So we're affecting everything at the same time. Um, all right, going forward. And in this case, I'm going to move my anchor point here. Let me just go back one and put a little keyframe for the anchor point. And then go forward here. And I'm going to move my anchor point to this front corner so it sort of swivels on this maybe this, this corner right here. Because um, that's about, that, that kind of approximate where we're going to be. So let me get my anchor point moved. Once again, make sure you're aiming for this compass rose here. I'll pull this compass rose right about there. I'll rotate it down. And we'll also affect the position. So let's see how that, that worked out. So let's go back one. All right. So double check your keyframes because this is really easy to you know have it kind of fly off. And we don't, definitely don't want it to be floating around. 
once it hits. We want it to kind of like stick around in the same sort of area here. So here we go. We'll just rotate this down here. Make sure everything's parallel. We'll drag this over. I'll put a keyframe for my anchor point as well. Forward one. Now in this case, I think it's going to be rotating on its like corner here. So I'm going to move my anchor point to the bottom, as it were. It's down at the bottom. It was the top. Pull it down there. Rotate it forward a bit. And I'll move it down some. So this is it landing. Okay. Let's take a look here. Stays pretty even. So very good. If it moves forward a little bit and down some, at least is it landing right about here. So I'll rotate it forward, pull it down some. All right, then it moves forward slightly. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I go back here and add an anchor point keyframe. Go forward one, get my anchor point moved over to the front now, or what's facing towards the right. And then drag it forward a bit. So it can be parallel with the brick behind it. And then we'll rock it back one a bit. And then we'll rock it back again. Everything's parallel. Go forward one. Starting to fall. Forward again. And I'm going to put some more anchor point keyframes here, some more position keyframes here as well. Forward again. More. Okay, and then we'll uh, slide this down some because it looks like it moved a bit. So, back it up. In this case, I'm not going to move it anymore because I don't want it to look like the, the, the corner is floating. I want the corner to kind of be the linchpin upon which it turns. So, but we'll see how this looks once we get everything parallel. All right, and now we want to move the anchor point. So I'm going to get the anchor point keyframe here, position keyframe here. Go forward one. I'm going to move the anchor point over to this corner over this way. Make sure we see the compass rose. Let it pop up on the side there to get parallel. And then go back down. And I want to say that's the last keyframe. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Uh, the GIF off. All right, good. Now, I like that. That looks good. Um, I would say the only keyframe I don't like is right about here where it looks like it kind of slides a bit. That's the only keyframe I don't really like. I don't like these two keyframes here. I kind of wish they were the same as they were before. But uh, apart from that, it looks good. Um, so just bring everything up to its full opacity and export it as an MP4. Cool. Okay, so one fun thing about this just before we go is that uh, if, for instance, I wanted to replace this brick with something else that was roughly the same dimensions, like say, for instance, you know, like a, like a trophy or a plank of wood or something like that, uh, I could just uh, right-click on the footage over here, and I could just say replace footage, and I could choose, say, for instance, and my videos here, maybe go to my or go to my projects, my brick fall project, and find this little uh, PNG of an Oscar, and uh, first off, let's shrink it down. Um, let's say trick it down to like say about there. Let me see how that looks. All right, so there you go. So this is a fun little uh, trick you can use to uh, replace you know any old thing. All right, so maybe see if you can replace it with something.